Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll show you a 1 to 99 120 fishing guide for 2019. While this is geared towards main accounts, but it might work for Iron Men. So to start things off, here are the XP boosts. You can get bonus XP from stealing creation, and that is around 180k bonus XP per hour. If you want a guide for this, I do have one which I will leave the link in the description. Now there are more to list, but these ones are the most common XP multipliers in the game. Moving on, we have the useful items and unlocks. First, we have the Fisher's Outfit. Now that will give you 5% more fishing XP if you're wearing the entire set of 4 pieces. You can obtain this from the Fish Flingers minigame. Now there is an FC for this minigame which I will leave the forum link in the description. Getting the entire set will take you around 19 Fish Flinger games at the given rate of 30 tokens per game. Then we have the Fury Shark outfit, and in order to get this, this is a rare drop from Treasure Hunter. It is also obtainable in game, but you do need 70 fishing in order to start getting fragments. In addition, you will need 20 invention plus 80 fishing in order to craft these fragments into pieces. You'll get 5% more fishing success, as well as removing the aggression from the living rock creatures. Finally, it retains the effects of regular fishing outfit if you own that, that is. By combining all three of them, you'll form what is called the Fury Shark Outfit. That will boost the fishing success to 7%, as well as giving you a 10% chance to catch an additional fish. Yes, the extra fish will give you extra XP. Last but not least, there is also an option to consume the fish, which will destroy it in the process. Alright, so moving on, we have the Dorvin Fish Extractor. That is from Treasure Hunter, which you can get from the Dorvin Toolbox. There are two different modes for this, either double resource mode or the double XP mode. Double resource mode will give you no XP while the double XP mode will give you no resources. Every tool lasts 100 charges, and no, it does not work on double XP weekend. The Crystal Rod. There are a few high level requirements for unlocking this. You enchant this from a crystal tool seed by paying one of the elves, which will cost you 510k GP the first time and all the way down to 102k from the 5th time onwards. However, luckily for you, you can create this with 150 harmonic dust. By wielding the crystal rod, you'll get 5% more fishing success. Unfortunately, it degrades after 500 successful catches, although the charge consumption is half if you're in Prith. Now because of how expensive this is to recharge, it's better to augment this with invention, which I'll cover this in the next section. The Invention Fishing Perks there are only two augmentable items for fishing, which are the Fishing rod automatic as well as the Crystal Rod. Here are the two best perks to use. The Hone perk will increase the fishing success by 2% per rank. Then we have the Furnace perk, which has a 5% chance per rank to consume the resources for XP. I've written you the best combinations for Honed and Furnace perk. Moving on, we have the Sliski's Endgame Rewards. The Ring of Whispers will give you 5 invisible fishing levels, then we have the Necklace of Shadows which will not drain any summoning points over time. Finally, for the combined Catalyst Fragment, well, that does nothing for fishing. By wearing all three pieces, you'll get what is called the Manifested Knowledge Set Effect. The next useful items we have are the Temporary Skill Boosts. For the Invisible Boosts, we have the Granite Lobster Familiar, which will give you 4 Invisible Fishing Levels. For the Visible Fishing Boosts, we have the Admiral Pie, and that will give you 5 fishing levels. The next thing we have are the fishing urns. Now each have a crafting level requirement in order to add an earth rune towards this, although you don't have to worry about this because it can be assisted. By fishing the fish, it will fill the urns. When the urns are full, you can automatically teleport them, but you have to enable this in your gameplay settings. When it's teleported, it will grant you XP depending on a certain tier, so it's essentially a 20% XP boost overall. Unfortunately, no, it does not stack with bonus XP. Then we have the Urn Enhancer, and that will boost the teleporting XP of urns by 25%. So moving on, we have the Perfect Juju Fishing Potion, and each dose will last 1 hour. Not only will this give you 5% more fishing success, but there's also a 33% chance to catch a Baron Shark when you're fishing the regular sharks. If you have Perfect Plus Potion Recipe Unlocked, well good for you, because that will retain the effect for 4 hours long. Unfortunately, it requires 99 herb lore as well as the Mailer Clan recipe. After that, we have the skill Champas. They will increase the fishing success when you use them. 
In addition to this, you'll get 5% more fishing XP for an unsuccessful fishing action, or 10% for a successful fishing action. Now since you're constantly using that, you'll burn 1,500 chinchapas per hour. I mean, it is somewhat expensive to use so it may not be worth it for everyone. Then we have the Whopper Baiting Scrimshot and that requires 70 fishing to use. There's a 15% chance to gain additional fishing XP because you hooked a large fish. The superior version's untradeable but it's made from 4 ancient bones in player owned ports. That becomes 20% chance as well as lasting 4 hours each. Overall the boost isn't worth it because it's too small as well as being too expensive of a cost per hour. The Call of the Sea Aura. It will increase the fishing success even further. Last but not least we have the Grace of the Elves. There are a couple of effects from this. Number 1 you can store 500 charges worth of sign of the porters. Number 2 there's a chance to spawn a Saren Spirit which you can click and that will give you a rare drop table item, and finally it will half the drain rate of the light form prayer. Let's get into the training methods. First of all, I would like to introduce you to the early fishing quests. I know some of you don't like doing quests, but I would at the very least do the sea slug quest since it's fairly quick. Otherwise from level 1 to 20 you'll do crayfish. That is located northeast of the Taverly Lodestone which I've marked in this mini map. So when it comes to fishing, you'll use the crayfish cage in your tool belt. Just so you know, bait is not required for this. You can place it on your action bar and keybind this to drop, or otherwise bank at the Berthort bank a little north. With fishing urns, you'll get around 14k XP per hour. Then from level 20 to 52, or you can stop at level 70, you'll do fly fishing. The location I'm demonstrating is in the Lumbridge River on the east side. Alternatively, you can use Barbarian Village, but this one has a bank nearby. You'll click Lure Fishing Spot, and the bait required for this is called Feathers. Because the fishing spot will change every few minutes, you gotta pay attention. Once again, you can place them on your action bar to drop them quickly, or otherwise bank at the Comet Academy chest if you're an Ironman that needs cooking XP. By the time you reach level 30, you'll start getting raw salmon, and that becomes more and more common at the higher levels. So here are the XP rates with urns. At level 20 you'll get 20k XP per hour, and then all the way to 70, you'll get 70k XP per hour. From level 52 to 80, or you can stop at 93, you'll do the Menaphos Fishing. That requires the Jack of Spades quest, but I mean this is actually a pretty nice low level quest to do. It is located in the Ports District as marked on this mini map. Now there's a high level location near the Lodestone which is in the VIP area. Unfortunately, it requires tier 7 overall Menaphos reputation, or is equivalent to 141.9k. The bait you're going to be using is called regular fishing bait. So when you're fishing this, you will get Menaphos reputation. You'll unlock the deposit box at tier 2 ports district, which requires you 18k reputation. You'll start catching raw catfish at level 60, and then at level 72 you will also start catching raw beltfish. Although it's slower than fly fishing at first, but it's actually very AFK as well as being Iron Man friendly for food. So here are the XP rates you can get with urns. At level 52 you will only get 40k XP per hour, then 68k XP per hour at level 70, and finally it tops off at 110k XP per hour at level 85 onwards. I believe at that point you will be able to fish successfully every single catch. Before I move on to another training method, let's talk about aquarium and prawn balls. That requires 63 construction to even unlock this. When you reach that level, you can toggle to gain prawn balls in your aquarium settings, which is in the same section as the player owned house settings. While this concept is pretty confusing at first, but trust me, it is overall very simple. Now I'm not going to demonstrate you this fully because I personally maxed my aquarium. So fishing normally will give you these prawn balls. Depositing these prawn ball rewards as well as the golden fishing eggs in the aquarium will give you various fishing boosts. Finally, you can build the prawn boat crew, after which you can spend these prawn points for perks. One of the most notable perks is the ability not to need bait while you're fishing. There is a full article in the RS wiki which I will leave that link in the description. From level 70 to 93, you will do crystallized fly fishing. Now the reason why I suggest you use the barbarian fishing spot instead this time is because every single time it moves, it doesn't move that far. It requires the following. The Light Within quest complete, 
88 magic, as well as being on ancient spellbooks and prayers. In your equipment setup, you want to bring prayer bonus gear plus grace of the elves. Then for your inventory, you'll bring crystallized runes, prayer potions, and, and finally, urns. You'll cast crystallize on a fishing spot and then fish this. That will last 30 seconds every time. Don't forget to turn on the lifeform prayer, and always watch your prayer points. By turning both of these on, that will give you an 87.5% XP boost. At level 70, you'll get 120k XP per hour, and finally, it tops off at 130k XP per hour at level 90 or higher. Yeah, so it's not much of an increase from level 70 to 90 because the fly fishing success rates are pretty high. From level 80 onwards, you'll do swarm fishing. The location is in Deep Sea Fishing Hub, which is in the southwest platform. For the deep sea fishing, you can access this via the fishing guild. As you can see right here, you're going to catch a variety of fish ranging from shrimp all the way to sailfish. Pretty much, that is similar to the ZMI altar from runecrafting. Uh, good old days. Anyways, this method's fairly AFK, but once in a while, a fishing net will snap, so you're gonna have to click again. Having higher fishing level means that you will not get any low-level fish. This is why, although it only requires 68 fishing, I strongly suggest you wait until you're at least level 80. This method isn't particularly good for XP, but it's really good for Ironman PVMers who are trying to stock up on food. Now make sure you bring fishing success boost because they're definitely going to help a lot here. When it comes to banking, there's actually a magical net nearby, so you can right click and deposit all of your inventory. You will only get 60k XP per hour at level 80, but at level 99, that tops off at 110k XP per hour. I have a 1 hour footage of this, which I'll leave that link in the description. You could probably get closer to 130k per hour if you're using porters instead of, you know, depositing in the fishing net. Then from 93 onwards, you'll do the waterfall fishing. It also requires Plague's End quests, 90 agility, range, and strength, all of which these three stats can be boosted. The location is between Mailer Clan and the Chris Clan, well, however you pronounce that. So you're gonna have to climb the shortcut and use a mithril grapple in your tool belt or inventory. You could otherwise use the max guild skill portal for direct teleport, but unfortunately you cannot boost for the required stats. There are three tiers of platforms which require 93, 95, and 97 fishing respectively from southwest to north. Once again, you want to bring your best fishing boosts. What you're fishing here are called crystal urchins and they depend on the tier and size. So at level 93 you can get 140k XP per hour and finally it tops off at 210k XP per hour with 400 large crystal urchins per hour at level 99. If you don't believe me, I have a 1 hour footage of this which I'll leave that link in the description. When it comes to urchin points, you can spend them and that is located in the entrance of waterfall fishing. There are various rewards you can purchase here including the crystal rod or the 3k fishing XP lamps. Alright, so from 94 onwards, you can otherwise do the fish frenzy. That is located in the deep sea fishing northwest platform. Yeah, this is a very click intensive method as a whole. Basically, the way it works is that you're going to click each fishing spot to get small amounts of XP. Since these spots will constantly change, you're going to have to keep clicking. You will also see a streak counter for the consecutive catches. Every 10 catches will give you 1% more XP for a total of 20%. I believe this should take you around 10 minutes to build from zero. Unfortunately, if you don't click for 6 seconds, the streak is halved. You will stand where I'm standing, which requires the least amount of movement. For the strategy, you want to click on a spot and then hover your mouse over another spot in advance. When the spot disappears, you immediately click that spot you hovered over. I mean, yeah, it's definitely going to take a while to get used to the timing of this. The fishing XP per hour you can get for this is a whopping 420k if you're doing this properly. Now, I have a 1 hour footage of this which I'll leave that link in the description. Although it's a little outdated, it might work still. And finally, from 96 onwards, you'll do Wabagongs. Since that is located in the Uncharted Isles of the Ark, it will require what are called supplies. I'm not going to cover the basics on the Ark because I have a guide for this, which I'll leave that link in the description. Ideally, you want to flag a daily island with at least one Wabagong colony. So because Wabagongs are extremely rare to find, this is why it's not a good conventional method. Personally, I never found a double colony for Wabagong spawns. Now if you're doing this with contracts, it's even more daily XP. 
In case you're wondering about skill champas, they're actually worth it to use here because you're constantly getting XP every tick and they will give you the most XP per action. For the XP per hour you'll get from this is 250k, but if you're doing this with skill champas, this can be bumped to 350k to at least 400k XP per hour. Unfortunately, this is not factoring the time that you spend hopping islands because like I said, this is only good as a daily. Now, I have a raw footage of me depleting two colonies, which I'll leave that link in the description. Alright, so let's get into the 99 plus section, where I'll cover what are the best methods to 120. The first method is waterfall fishing, and in my opinion, this is the best AFK conventional method. Then we have wobblegongs, which like I said before, they are very amazing with skill champas, and even better with the arc contracts. Obviously, fish frenzy is really fast, but it's extremely click intensive. Finally, if you're an Ironman or someone who wants an AFK money making method, you could otherwise do swarm fishing. Now that I've talked about the regular training methods, let's get into the other training methods for fishing. The first method we have are the Divine Rocktail Bubbles. It requires 90 fishing to fish and 91 divination in order to make this. Fishing this will count 4 times towards the daily resource cap. The resource cap per day is based on your total level, in which case at 2.5k total level, you'll get a cap of 250. That means in a single day you can fish 62 rocktails, giving you 47.5k base fishing XP per day. Now you can double this once per day by using 40 Vizwax. In my opinion, it's not really worth it compared to Divine Yew Trees, but it does offer faster capping. Then we have the Giant Oyster, and that is a monthly distraction and diversion. It requires the quest called Beneath Cursed Tides. By fishing this fishing spot, you'll get fishing XP, and then by gathering seaweed, it will offer you farming XP. Unfortunately, no, it does not fill the urns nor does it stack with bonus XP or any XP multipliers. Once you've done fishing and farming, you can deposit this in the oyster, and hopefully maybe you'll get a die next month, you know? <laughs> and finally, we have the fishing brawling gloves. You can get this from the rare drop table or by doing wilderness slayer. Each glove comes with 442 charges. The best place to use them at would be the Divine Rock Tales in the deep wilderness near the Mage Arena Bank. If you don't like going to the wilderness, you can do this at Wabagongs, but don't use skill champas because you're going to burn a lot of charges. So this wraps up my 1-99 and 120 fishing guide for 2019. With that being said, just choose which method's right for you and best of luck training fishing. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, because I'll do more 1-99 and 120 guides in the future.